with Simply a Stewart, and I am back with a huge Costco haul. So this is the biggest Costco haul we've ever done. Part of it is because of how much stuff we bought, and part of it just sadly is because of the increase in price. So we spent over $1,200 today. We got a lot of stuff. But we haven't been to Costco. If you've been following me, the last haul I did was the last trip we made. And it was like back before the 4th of July thing. So we don't go to Costco all the time like some people do. We do not have a Costco super close to us. We need to make a trip into the city with the coolers and everything. We kind of stock up the freezer so everything was kind of empty. I don't know when we'll go back again. Um, it might not be till after Christmas. So... We just kind of stock up on everything we think we might need or we're running low on and that's the way we do it around here. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to show you what we got. I started with all the cold stuff because it's been a long day running and I would get a, want to get all this stuff into the fridges and the freezers and then I will show you guys the rest. All right, so this is just a quick run of basically pretty much the cold stuff. We did get um, peas. We are completely out of peas. My kids go through at least a bag of peas a week, so this won't even last us um, very long. But I did grab um, some peas. Again, I've got to be mindful of the freezer space we have also. But I like to get um, our vegetables there in bulk because a lot of times little bags just don't last us. Now, they did not have organic peas this time, which was a little bit of a bummer. Most things they have are organic as you will see and that's why I typically try to get as many as I can there and then just have to fill in until we're able to make another trip but so we got peas we got two bags of broccoli and two bags of vegetables uh, if you don't follow us and know this from before we eat um, a mostly paleo I won't say completely paleo we are far from perfect but we tried to eat um, very clean for health reasons um so we eat a lot of vegetables, so I do try to make sure that we have those on hand. We did pick these up. First time we've ever seen these. They won't last very long in our house. There's 14 count, which means that'd be like, if you made little sandwiches, that'd be like seven sandwiches. We have six people in our house. That's like one meal. But we decided we would try them out. Let me see. Oh, there we go. There's the ingredients for you. So... Like I said, not perfect. We do do some dairy um, in things. I don't typically do a ton of dairy outside of cheese. Um, sometimes some yogurt. We order those from separate places because we, again, are a little more specific about what we're doing. So here, uh, let's see if we can find the ingredients on these for you. I haven't bought these in a long time. Look, see, they have natural flavors in them, and we kind of have nixed that out of some of our diet, but I didn't even check that. Um but like I said, not perfect in this house, not by any means, but we do try to keep on the cleaner side. So not too bad to have on hand. Um, they're really giant, if you can't tell. Um, let me see. These are like a little breakfast sausage, and you can see uh, these have two links side by side in the package, and you can see how big they are. So these are really, really big. We do get the breakfast sausages. If you've ever seen these at your Costco, they are A, delicious, and B, they had the asterisk. And if you are familiar with Costco, you will know that the asterisk is like the death. That means they are going away, um, sadly. And so we picked up two of these even though they weren't on sale. I think the price was actually like $13 now, which is a little bit higher than what it was. This was on sale, so we picked up one um, to go ahead and put into the freezer. We like to go ahead and shred this when we need it from time to time, and it was $3 off. So, nice little steal there. We haven't bought that in a really, really long time, so it lasts us for quite a while. Uh, here we got our turkey breast. These are a three-pack, as you can see. Not this, it's not the Plainville that they used to have, but it is um, what they are carrying now. Same, pretty much same ingredients. Again, something they didn't have organic. They always have whole carrots that are organic uh, in, in their refrigerated section, and they did not. So this is what we got for this time. We actually have some in our garden, but yeah, first year growing carrots, I grew them. They grew beautifully. I can't figure out how to, how to um, I guess, store them properly yet so that the texture doesn't change. So I'm going to try on my second round in my fall garden, and we will find out if we do a little bit better with those. These, yeah, 
we still do the um, almond milk and so I needed that just to replace what we've been running out of like I said it's been a really long time since we've gone we did get a set of cheese um, we use this when we use when we make our pizza that's pretty much it so it will go in the freezer until it's time we have a pizza um, day maybe once a month where we will have pizza and a movie if we have enough time usually more in the winter than in the summer so we really haven't done one in quite a while so the cheese that we actually um, had was all gone and we haven't purchased any in a really long time so like I said grabbed one of those we grabbed these. Um, I do believe these were on sale. I don't know how much they were off this time, but they were an October sale. These were delicious. We got these, I think it was last time to try, and my kids love them. My husband likes them. I think they're fantastic because they're very quick and very easy. Um, you just heat them up. You can make some sides, some veggies with it, and you're good to go. And again, ingredients. These are like the perfect fast food for those of us who try to eat on the clean side we got two of these another thing i did not plan on buying but was on sale these did not have the asterisk by them yet so in the past years these usually run in the spring like through the fall and then in the winter they're gone so i did um have no qualms about grabbing a few extra since they were on sale because I know usually these will have an asterisk sooner than later and be disappearing. It's like they're out for grilling season and once grilling season's passed, they typically um, quit carrying them for a while. So we got these Kerrygolds just again to restock. We don't do a ton of butter, but with baking season coming up with the holidays, we will be baking more. And so I wanted to make sure I have those on hand. We got a thing of organic blueberries. My kids were begging for these. These were $9.99. So the price on these definitely went up a little bit in my area. Um, but we did pick those up. All right. Nothing to see here, y'all. Really, we have no babies. And if you know us, you know that's the truth. But so these are not for us. There is no surprises here. But we do have a good friend who just, uh, kiddo just had a first birthday. And if you guys have kids, you know you get more than enough toys and outfits and everything else and what do you get a kid who has way too much crap already diapers something they can actually use and mom and dad will love you for it so they are getting a huge box of the kind of diapers that they use if you use these diapers they were ten dollars off this time which is an extra bonus for us so we picked those up for him and then we picked up some eggs we like to use most of our eggs from the farm but we have been, um, we're just getting into the season where it seems like we're having a hard time, harder time getting eggs off of um, those of us, those who give us eggs in their excess. They are, their uh, chickens are just ru uh, running on less daylight and so they're not creating as many um, eggs and we are not getting the benefit of that any longer. So we picked up um, some extras there. So I'm going to get this stuff put into the refrigerator and I will show you guys the massive amount of stuff that is not cold. Okay, y'all, this is round two and there's not enough for everything. So we're going to have to do a round three. But starting over here, we got a bunch of tomato paste. I know why does somebody need that much tomato paste? It's because my kids love ketchup. Do you guys have kids who love ketchup? My kids love ketchup and we make all of our ketchup from scratch using tomato paste so we go through quite a lot of it. So we were out out and so hopefully this should last us for quite um, some time. I'd like to say forever but it'll probably literally only last us until December since we don't need freezer room. That's one of the things we went ahead and got enough um, probably until then. So and then we got two cases of tomato sauce down here. We do not use soups really um, because they have a lot of extra additives in it. And I had an old recipe from my grandmother that was passed down that used tomato soup in it. And so we've replaced it with tomato sauce and then just um, spite, like put some seasonings and whatnot in it. And it works just great. So we picked that up. Toilet paper. I'm sure if you are in America, you know about toilet paper. It seems like it's become an issue all of a sudden again. We um, have not been to Costco, like I said, since like July or end of June maybe. We are a big family, so we needed one. It is limited to one, and so we picked up our one. We also picked up a thing of the Costco tissues. Now, we've never tried these. Um, we've always used the Kleenex brand, but these were, got, these were a better um, deal, obviously. So 
and we liked we've tried this and we loved it and we tried the paper towels and we love those so we're going to give the um, tissues a chance I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about those have you guys tried them did you guys like them are they no good are they not worth it uh, drop a comment down below and let me know and then we got all kinds of other things so we'll start here I will say this I feel like I'll probably repeat myself a hundred times had the asterisk everything had the asterisk so I don't know if it's a supply issue or if it's just a switching time we, they do typically at the end of summer stop carrying these as much they are one of our favorite snack um, to take like to go on out of the house because they come in individual little pouches but they're still not terrible um, if I remember right they do have they do have an oil we don't use um, typically uh, seed oil yeah which we try to stay away from um, more than not but for on the go, this is much better than a lot of the junk um, that like if they go to church or they go to uh, over the summer, they went to VBS, they went to different things, they would feed them garbage. Um, and so we would take this. It was at least a better alternative. Not perfect, but better. We got two of the avocado oils. This has gone up, folks. It was up to 19 something this time. Um, so it was like $2 increase. <sighs> Such a sad thing. I saw something the other day on Facebook that said how if small rest, small business restaurants are upping the prices a dollar, three dollars, it's not because they're trying to rip you off. It's because the prices are going up and walking through Costco today, I can definitely say that is true. So <sighs> be nice to your small business owners out there, I guess. It really is tough. Um, I got the raw unfiltered honey. Now we like to get our honey from actual beekeepers, but... If you put that honey into a baked good and put it into the oven, yep, ruins all the great uh, properties and the good quality. So I picked this up so that I can do my baking and then we use that for everything else. So we picked up two of those because tis the season to be baking. As you see, I have almond flour over here. We are getting into that time of the year. So I'm making sure I have my supplies on hand for baking season. We picked up some pumpkin. Sometimes I bake with this. Sometimes I feed it to my dogs. They really love it. So we'll see. It was there. It was on sale. Honestly, I don't even know what the price was. My husband was like, hey, look what they got. And he threw it in the cart. So it is what it is. We picked up these. But again, it was like, hey, well, let's try these. And then we saw the asterisk. So we've never had these before. I have no idea if they're any good yet. Um, but there's an asterisk by them. So if they're good, we'll never get to try them again probably. At least not for a long time. There we go. Oh, I just realized reading that, that I forgot to get flax for my kids. They need it for a bread recipe they make, and I didn't get any while we were out today. Darn it. All right, moving on. So we picked this up. Uh, this this actually was $3 off. A $3 off? I can't remember. I think this was on sale, too. Jeez, oh, man, can I find the ingredients for you? There you go. We do not, again, seed oil. Not something we do a ton of, but we do do it on occasion. These are great. We um, actually probably haven't eaten these in about a year, but they are nice to have on hand when you're running through the busy seasons of life, which we are right now with all of the extracurricular activities in the evenings um, and just, you know, a lot of different things going on with our church and whatnot. So uh, these are for the microwave. We do not have a microwave. If you know us, if you have followed our channel, we got rid of our microwave several years ago, but you can easily empty these out and just saute them in a pan real quick. Add some chicken, some veggies, and it's a very quick and easy dinner. So we got that. We got two things of the, um, boxed milk. We like to just have that on hand just in case it's nice. If you run out, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, shelf stable, so we got, oh, hippies, these, I'm sharing some of these ingredients for those of you. I haven't done a haul in forever, so, and I'll be, I'll be honest, some of these things are literally like, I'm like, ah, we don't usually eat that. We eat them in our Costco food. That's about it. You will never catch me buying anything with canola oil in it or buying canola oil to cook, but I will use it in here. Now it is, um, in here it is organic which does mean that it's non-GMO, which does make a huge difference um, in my personal opinions too um, for our family. So we do pick those up usually for movie night and we are getting into movie night again. Um, like I mentioned with the pizza, we have movie night. We try to do it once a month with our family and then once a month with our church. And so twice a month, my kids will get to have those for a special snack because we don't do popcorn and stuff. But my husband does corn chips 
the rest of us really don't. These, you know, a bag a month or so, two bags a month maybe, I don't know. These will last him forever. Those are his snack food. Um, the rest of us really don't touch them, but they're the organic kind, and um, we can keep them on hand. So we got almond flour, like I mentioned. Baking season is upon us. My girls love to bake. This is our primary flour. As you can see back there, we have almond and coconut, and those are what we use for most of our baking. So they will be able to use those um, for our regular bake supplies as well as for their uh, baking season for cookies and whatever else they decide to make. We got plantain chips. Hey, hey, another asterisk, another thing that will not be back after they sell out. So check your Costco if you like this kind of stuff because it might be gone. Great ingredients. Good timing we went and we were able to pick a couple up. So we got these cashew clusters. I've been making a lot of my own trail mix, which is what the kids kind of eat these as, but I do like to have these on hand. Um, they're just a nice, quick, easy thing if I don't have time to make trail mix. These ones do have cane sugar in them, though. Um, let's see if I can grab those for you. Well, obviously, the homemade trail mix does not. Um, or they can throw some of these because they are actual squares into, like, a Lunchable for a snack um, for one of their little uh, spaces. Or they can throw a few and some uh, raisins into a bag as, like, a trail mix to take as a snack to go, um, like I said, on the go, this kind of stuff. Same thing. If we're out of the individualized stuff, they can do something like that. So we picked up two of those. Those were not going out of stock. <laughs> so nice to have something. Did you say these were going out of stock, hun? These Kato nuggets, the new things, yeah. So these are going out of stock also, but we did try these out. They obviously, we legit tried these out as soon as we got out because it was like 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we were hungry and hadn't eaten any lunch. They're pretty good. Can't complain. So some gums in there, but otherwise not too bad. Again, we got one bag. There's six of us their chocolate they won't last very long we'll all have one here or there and they'll be gone siete i literally almost screamed in the middle of the store guys when i walked around the corner and the siete chips were back so my store used to carry siete hasn't carried them in quite a while i don't know how long they've been back again i haven't been there most of the summer but they were back today and they did not have an asterisk so for now i picked up three bags We'll see next time we go back. These are the only chips that I can eat that don't disrupt my gut. Um, I'm not sure. There we go. But they are so expensive if you buy them on, like, Thrive or Vitacost or any of those types of places. Um, here's the ounces for you. So it's 12 ounces. I think they were, like, I don't know, maybe 6 or $7. I can't remember. But they're, like... I swear, they're like $5 for 5 ounces on Thrive and stuff. They The prices just are not comparable. I've done the price matching before to find out. I can't remember off the top of my head what they were, but way better deal. And so I picked up three of those for me. I probably won't share. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, my kids have all these other snacks. Those are mine. So down here we got almonds, one are dry roasted with salt, and one are um, no salt, no roasting of any kind, and we will use these. My husband will snack on these. He likes them. They're dry roasted, so no oils. They're just the salt, sea salt at that, and these are just plain. We use these in our trail mix, so pick those up. These are back. Yay. There you go. Nice, oh, canola oil. Man, it's been a really long time since we bought these. Like, they probably haven't had this for over a year, maybe two years. I don't remember reading the ingredients. When we started, we ate. Um, we've kind of, like, taken more stuff out of our diet as our journey has progressed. Um, so, I don't know if we'll get these again. But for now, my husband will probably get them again. I don't know if I'll eat them. But um, for now, that's they're, like, grass-fed meat. And they're, overall, they're pretty good... Um, ingredients so yeah we got those he was excited when he saw them i didn't even look at the stuff i just threw it in my cart these uh the gluten-free sprouted rolled oats sprouted much better for your digestive system my daughter likes to mix these with banana um, and raisins and cook them in the oven and have a little cookie so 
we picked those up. She also really actually says she loves oatmeal. I'm not a fan of oatmeal, so I never make it. And we've just never done oatmeal, but I figured they can start doing oatmeal as we're getting into the winter months for breakfast too, if they like. So back here, we got two bags of rice. And then we also got um, a few boxes of the Epsom salts. We do Epsom salt soaks around here. So fill those up. We have a big um, like glass jar that I keep them in, and that is completely empty, and I like to have a backup. So picked those up. We also picked up not one, but if you can see it back there, two of the plackers. Everybody in my house is obsessed with these. My kids used to fight about flossing their teeth. Now they love it. They carry these all the time in their purses, in their pockets, I swear, everywhere. Every time I can't find a flosser, I'm like, guys, where are all the flossers? They have like a Ziploc bag of them shoved somewhere. Um, so they were out of stock for quite a while, and they came back in today, and they, or, well, since we've been there, we saw them today. They were $9.99 a box, so we picked up two of them while we were there. These, um, we love these, all the ingredients, right there. Uh, but when my husband actually, the first thing he did when we walked in the door went was I need to go to the restroom. So he headed straight to the restroom and I kind of just hung out because, you know, we need two carts when we go in there. So I wasn't pushing two carts. I just hung out. And when he came back, he came back carrying these. He had come back through the aisle and apparently there were only five boxes of these left on the shelf and two of them were already opened. So he picked up one of them to make sure that we got to take it home and put it in the the cart first thing before we even started shopping so we were lucky enough to snag one of those we got four things of raisins i think my kids would turn into raisins eating raisins if i gave them the option that is like one of their absolute favorite snacks we also use it in our trail mix so four boxes it is we picked up two of the coconut oils we are going into again baking season which we use a lot of coconut oil that is our primary baking oil um and so you can't get a better price. It is under $12. It is 84 ounces. It is cold pressed. It is unrefined. It is organic. It is all the things it should be, I guess, except for it's in plastic instead of glass. But sometimes you have to make a concession. And that is it. So we picked two of those up. And we picked up these. All right, guys. I'm not even going to lie. We picked these up because I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, I always said. We, we tore in those as soon as we got out. We each tried one. Um, but... I was hungry. They tell you not to go shopping hungry. I was hungry when we got there. And so I picked these up because I know that I've liked them in the past. I haven't had these for probably three years. Not perfect. Not terrible. They'll be a nice little like special treat for me when I want to make a cup of tea and like hide in the bathroom because my kids are driving me crazy. Yep, those are them. So picked those up. <sighs> Broken record over here, y'all. There's the asterisk. They're going out. So instead of buying one or two, I bought four. These are another snack that go with us quite a bit in places we are running. Um, and I don't know, homeschool activities and things are in again. We end up taking longer than we anticipate sometimes at those types of things. So I like to always have snacks on, on hand when we're going. So picked up more snacks. Picked up. Yeah. Picked up more crackers, y'all. Sorry, look at my plastic bags. I'm like emptying things and just leaving them on the floor. Uh, picked up more crackers. We use these for our Lunchables. If you have followed me, I will. I think my Lunchable um, link will be down in the description below. And you guys can check that out. We make homemade Lunchables everywhere we go. Whether it is going to an outing. Whether it is going to the zoo for the day. Whether it is just going shopping and we're going to need food. We don't run through drive throughs anywhere. So... We like to have a lot of those on hand in case we need them. And we went um, kind of on a last minute vacation last month. Uh, literally, we booked our accommodations on a Friday and we left two days later on Sunday. So very last minute and we packed lunches the whole time we were gone there um, to make sure we were eating a little healthier and according to our um, lifestyle and also just to you know save on a little bit of money. And so we packed, which means we were completely out of um crackers so we had to get some of those now i will say the price on these were up to 9.99 i do believe if i remember correctly they were 8.99 the last time around so they have also increased so i'm going to get this stuff cleared up and get round three out for y'all okay y'all so i have been filming for almost an hour now so i need to get all of this stuff put away i need to get dinner made i need to go get my kids picked up and my daughter to youth group so i need to get going but 
I know I owe y'all some um, videos. I actually have a video that I filmed that I didn't realize that I didn't put up. It was on school supplies. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and I will go ahead and put it up. If you're thinking like, hey, I'm over school supplies. We don't need them at this point. Um, we already have what we got. I don't want to see your video. Let me know. I won't put it up. But if you guys want to see it, I do have it. I can put it up. I just realized that I filmed it before we left for vacation and then things were really crazy and I never um, uploaded it for you guys. So I do have that. I also, um, I know I owe you guys our uh, curriculum videos. I also have an Osborne haul that will be coming out. Um, but like I said, we planned a last minute vacation. We did it. We came home. We started straight into book work. We straight in, started straight into extracurriculars and homeschool activities and all of those things. And y'all know how that goes. But we also had a couple deaths in the family and some different things that were going on. And it just kind of, um, you know, kind of made our lives a little bit on the busy side. So I have not uploaded anything and I apologize for that. But I'm rambling now, so I'm going to let you guys all go. And if you guys do want to see that um, school supply video, let me know. And keep an eye out for those other videos. They are coming, I promise. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye.